Good morning, guys. We are Acts 11. Uh, I want to read something before I get into it. Uh, it's in my Bible, and it, it says, it's, a, it's titled, Whoever Enters. I'm just going to read the first part of it. God's gift of forgiveness must be appropriated. That is, it must be accepted on an individual basis. Although it is universal offer, it has no effect on the sin debt of a man or a woman who has not personally put their trust in Christ. It is like a paycheck that has never been picked up. It is like a gift certificate that has never been redeemed. It is like a lifeline that is ignored by the drowning person. That's powerful. All right, Acts 11. We're gonna get into uh, chapters 15 through 17 is what rose up for me. Let me read those for you. As I begin to speak, the Holy Spirit came on them and he had come on us at the beginning. Then I remembered what the Lord had said. John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So if God gave them the same gift as he gave us, who believed in the Lord Jesus Christ? Who was I to think that I could oppose God? Ooh, that's... That's powerful. My reveal. I have had a few moments in my life since my wife passed away in 2018 where I have opposed God because I did not think I could do a certain thing or impact people with my story. Wow, was I wrong. Just when I thought I was done and packing it in, someone would call or speak to me about it is going to be okay. That was not that person. That was that person, but that was the Holy Spirit speaking through that person. And what that gave me in those situations, as I get chills right now thinking about it, is it gave me the Holy Spirit to go out and do the things that I was afraid to do, or I, I didn't feel I was equipped to do. Um, like I've spoken in front of a lot of people and with my job and with what I do as a golf professional, I've had the opportunity to do that, but not in a setting of total surrender and uh, just being raw and vulnerable. Um, I've always had a message that was enlightening and, and uh, everybody wanted to hear, but man, when, when you, you put something out there that is just raw and it's uh, from inside, boy, the Holy Spirit just takes that and, and really, it really, really can run with it. My implementation. When I am having a hard time with something, please allow me to reach out to the Holy Spirit and ask for help and guidance. That, that's me talking to, that's almost an ask or a prayer or something I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask God for. Please help me. I'm, I'm having a hard time right here. Please, please give me some of the Holy Spirit in me so that I can, I can proceed with what I'm getting ready to do. Whew. Prayer. Lord, allow the Holy Spirit to enter my body freely and at any time when I struggle. We love you with all our hearts and minds. I think in order to receive the Holy Spirit, you have to have the opportunity for the Holy Spirit to come into you, uh, which means you, you, have to, you have to be walking with the Lord and understanding that... Um, that's part of it. Uh, it's listening. It's, uh, it's really hearing and, and uh, taking those messages that you get and not missing those moments uh, that you have an opportunity to make, a, to make a difference. All right, guys. Great Acts 11. Be back in the morning with Acts 12.